gonna make chicken paninis with a sharp boning knife. And instead of butterflying the chicken, I put it in the freezer for about 10 minutes. And then I just kind of shred it into small pieces, as thin as possible. And I have three chicken breasts in total here. But once you shred it up, I mean, that's quite a lot of meat. It'll definitely make two giant paninis that we can cut into eight pieces. Here's the sprinkle for our very thinly sliced all white meat chicken. This is pepperoncini. I go a little bit shyer on that or red pepper. You can use red pepper flake. Mine is ground. We also have fennel pollen. These are about te two teaspoons each for the three chicken breasts I have or one package of chicken breast. So this is two teaspoons fennel or fennel pollen or ground fennel. About two teaspoons each of all the other guys. Garlic onion, black pepper, and salt. Just go a little shy on your red pepper. Mix all of that together. And with each batch that we put into our pan, we're going to sprinkle on that mix. And you just wanna keep it in a single layer as best you can. And you're gonna pop it off onto a platter for each batch that you cook. So you need a a reserve platter right next to your pan so it's got a place to go when the chicken is done. Each batch will only cook a couple of minutes. Okay, a nice sprinkle of our mix, our spice blend. Let me flip the chicken. And a little more spice blend. So we're gonna do a couple of small to medium red onion, one bulb of fennel, and a couple of peppers. So as soon as we get all the chicken out, both batches done, we throw the veggies in and just cook them to soften them in a little olive oil. Okay guys, so now we're going to take, first of all, these are the focaccias, just so you can get a pretty shot of that. And all I did was have them. They're fresh from the bakery. But any roll you love will do. Ciabatta rolls would be terrific. Inside out Kaiser's work. Cut them in half and then put the cut sides out so they get a little toastier. Focaccia definitely works. It gets toasty on the outside because it's bathed in olive oil as it cooks. Now we're topping that chicken with our little special spice sprinkle. And then we put on our layer of veggies. And then we top that with the Fontina cheese or any easy melting cheese you like. And we pop them onto our panini press. So our press is on 400 degrees. You would do medium high if you were doing this in a cast iron skillet and just pushing another skillet on top of it. And you just want to be careful when you set it down that you're keeping it nice and even. In a skillet, it's easy. You just put another skillet on top and weight it down with like a you know sack of beans uh, or a couple of cans of something heavy from your pantry. But when you're using a press, you just gotta make sure that it's not sliding all over the place. See, you gotta, kind of keep that top piece in place. So just when you settle it in, just be a little bit patient. It just takes a couple minutes. So we'll brown up one at a time. Ooh, look how beautiful and golden. 